Hey, I'm Aaron with the Pickleball Clinic. I'm here with Ken Herman, owner of the APP, creative director, pickleball visionary, and uh, wanted to ask a couple questions about the APP Next Gen Tour, where we're here right now at Chicken and Pickle in Oklahoma City. So what, what's your whole idea and the vision behind the Next Gen Series? Yeah, so uh, great question. The Next Gen Series, the whole part of that was just trying to help develop America's next great champion coming through for that 16 to 23 year old. Uh, trying to put some prize money, trying to just help them and give them some guidance with them the super pros and just helping build a path of them continue just to develop their skills and, and help grow the sport. Uh, as we saw in the tennis world, sometimes you've got some great tennis players that come along, but whether it's burnout or financial reasons or injury, sometimes some of their prodigies didn't quite elevate in the pro tour. So myself with a, a couple of pros that see a friend or help and you just find a better path for your success for these players to make that transition and be the top player in the field. Absolutely. So I'm here right now participating. It's an incredible event. It's going amazing so far. I'm curious what your thoughts are for the future of the Next Gen Tour and what it might look like in the next two to five years. First off, Chicken and Pickle, what a great partnership and what a great facility to be able to host these throughout the different venues. I think next year we're finalizing our 2023 schedule. Next Gen APP Series is going to continue on. Four stops next year we're going to do. I think we're looking strategically. When can we do that the players can get here? We've got some uh, younger players who are still in school trying to work that into their schedule. But we hope to announce the final schedule in the next couple of weeks. And next Gen 2023, here we are. Absolutely. Final question. This is a fun one. Why do you love people? I love pickleball. I don't even play it anymore. I don't even know why I love pickleball. Uh, certainly it's the friendships that you evolve and do with everyone. Uh, it just means so many different people, whether it's the, the swing coast out of uh, the California area, or just you know, you've got the, amazing, the ability just to continue to grow the sport and uh, just the wonderful people down here. Thank you for everything you're doing. Pickleball appreciates you. Thanks for talking. You betcha. All right. I'm with Will Schaefer. He's an up and coming pickleball prodigy, 13 years old. So first question I have for you is how long have you been playing pickleball? Uh, I've been playing for about two years. Uh, I started in my backyard just sitting with my dad and now I'm here at Next Gen. Yeah, awesome. How does it feel to be such a young player playing at such a high level? Uh, it's weird. People treat you like you're not as good and sometimes even when you're uh, better than them, they still mess around, and then when you destroy them, they're like, well, just take them easy on them, yep. and they just kind of underestimate them. I love that mindset. So on another similar note, when you're hopping on the court with someone that you think might be judging you for being a little bit younger, do you see that as a disadvantage where you're a little bit less confident, or do you see it as an advantage because you know they might be underestimating you? Uh, I feel like it's more of an advantage because obviously I can destroy them if I need to. Uh, even if they're better than me, they might take it, take it a little easier on me. And yeah, Absolutely. Uh, it definitely isn't a disadvantage for lobs though. Totally, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's the one situation to deal with. Last question, why do you love pickleball? The community, really. Uh, just meeting new people, the social aspect of it. Absolutely, awesome man, thanks for talking. Yeah. Um, with Gabe Tornito and Wyatt Stone. These two just won the men's doubles championship. Uh, played an insane tournament. So just a couple questions for you guys. First off, how did it feel to take the W? Uh, I mean, great. We played a lot of matches today, so it was good for the win, but yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm more excited for what the game is doing. Yeah. You want to go watch the minions movie after, yeah. after this? There you go. Sounds like fun. So both of you guys are known for having incredibly fast hands. Why? I'm curious, how were you able to develop such fast reflexes? Uh, I mean, at the beginning, I mean, drilling a lot helps with just fast hands with another person, but uh, if you don't have a person to drill with, you can always hit against a wall and have a ways to do, like, stand close to the wall and just hit, like, back and forth uh, and do, like, hands like that. So if you don't have someone to drill with, then that works perfectly fine because the wall never misses, so. And then, uh, if you have this incredible, like, fake-out shot where you'll, you'll hold your paddle up in the bank and then you'll do a little twist. Yeah. So, what do you like? What do you credit that to? Have you practiced that for a while? Is that something you kind of will do last minute? Is that a good strategy? Yeah. Or? So I, that was the shot that Kyle Yates is doing. Got it. You just like you play the old cross court and you like, I don't know, just lick it, I guess. And then you go down the line. 
Awesome. So last question for both of you guys, what's your favorite thing about pit Uh I mean, I guess that I anyone can play and that it can either be fun and it can be competitive too. Uh, I like the competitive aspect, just be able to play your friends and then get to see like, my friends and play with my friends. So that's what I saw. Absolutely. Um, I like it because it's like so fast. You gotta work it. It's not like tennis, but you gotta run like a mile every corner. You know, you just like stay in you know, reflex. Absolutely. Like that. Well, congrats on a great tournament, guys. Thank Good you. stuff. Thank you. I'm here with Scott Fliegelman, senior pro at Mass Pro Mentorda. Countless up and coming young players. Uh, I'm curious, over the many years of success you've had on this in your pro tour, what's the number one lesson you've taken away in terms of how to become a better player? You know, I, I hate to start off with an it depends uh, answer, but I just feel like pickleball is such a confluence of the different backgrounds. And if you've got somebody with a, with a, a healthy tennis background, then I'm going to have some kind of specific advice for them. Uh, and without that, you know, I've, I've shared, you know, with some people that all the different sports I played growing up, like even going out in the backyard after school and just scrapping with, you know, with my friends, all of that comes into play with my pickleball. So I just like to leverage everything I've ever done and bring it to the court. What's the best tip that you give to a, a beginning pickleball player looking to emerge and, you know, build up their skills? And then also best tip for a high level player looking to go pro and really take it to the next level? Uh, once again, I think it depends on what the resources are that you have in your area. Um, you know, pickleball is booming, so we're, you know, we're getting more access to courts. Um, you know, I think for the beginning player, it's finding the right source of, of more experience for better players. When I, when I first started, I had a big tennis background, but I really didn't know pickleball at all. And thankfully, I got adopted by some four or five guys that just didn't let me rely on a power game. So I had to learn the soft game you know, early on. And I think whether you're a beginner player or a more experienced player, you know, embracing the value of the soft game. I like to say we're, we're playing with a glorified piece of plywood and a wiffle ball. Right. So there's only so much we can do. Um, we've got to understand the soft game. Absolutely. And then if you had the opportunity to reset your entire pro career and do one thing over or one thing different, if anything, what would that one thing be? I would have hopped into a time machine and started this game when I was 18. I feel the same way uh, myself. And then final question, what is your favorite thing about pickleball? Absolutely, the camaraderie. Uh, I, I did share earlier, but you know, I'll, I'll say it again. You know, with you, three weeks into playing this game, you know, I went to a major tournament and I saw a mother-daughter uh, team practicing on the courts. I walked onto the court, introduced myself, and said, hey, can we play some rec? And 90 minutes later, I played rec with Lee and Anna with Waters. And, Christine McGrath and you know that was it was one of the things that welcomed me to the game and I just love that absolutely well the game is lucky to have you you're doing great things for the sport and especially the younger generations so keep doing what you're doing we really appreciate it all right I'll keep doing what you're doing too as well uh, with Chad he's the manager here at Chicken and Pickle and first off I'm wondering could you give me like a one or two sentence description of what is Chicken and Pickle yeah so Chicken and Pickle our main focus is pickleball. We also have a restaurant inside, but we always wanted to bring the fun as much as we can. So we have pickleball and some yard games. That's awesome. You know, with the growth of pickleball, there's a lot of excitement with all these different ventures of, you know, combining pickleball with leisure and, and play and community. So, you know, what's really the vision uh, behind Chicken and Pickle and where do you see it, it you know, going to in the future? Exactly. So Chicken and Pickle, like I said just a second ago, we want to just bring fun in every aspect we can. So. Main focus obviously is pickleball, but and we want to support like an active lifestyle and stuff like that. So pickleball, cornhole, giant battleship, connect four, vision with it, we want to make it real big. So we want to go, we're expanding to different locations right now. We're, we're building one in Glendale, Arizona right now, Grapevine, Texas, and then St. Charles, Missouri. And then last question for you personally, why do you love pickleball? I think it's just fun. I'm a big ping pong guy. I played tennis a little bit in high school too. Um, but I got real into ping pong in college and it just reminds me of pickleball. I mean, not pickleball, ping pong, but even bigger. So I love it. Awesome. Thanks for talking. Yeah, no problem.